Yes, my Between the Liners, welcome back to the podcast. We're here with a special episode today of another Old Trafford vlog, Aston Villa v Manchester United, Carabao Cup. I'm here with a special guest, my cousin, Saib. What are you saying? I'm about to take over now, behind the scenes today, because oh, today's a special day today. It's a special day, because we need to come back after that 3 1 loss. So, feeling, feeling quite nervous today, but. I think, think we're going to get the win today, don't you agree? Hopefully Saif sees a win at Old Trafford for once. I need to break my curse, man. I have Stamson United, <laughs> <laughs> United win. Stamson United win. Nor have I seen Ronaldo in the flesh. So, yeah, just quickly, Adnan, thoughts about the game? Look, United v Aston Villa. Unai Emery's second game and it's got to be against us again. It's going to be a tight game. I'm guessing he's going to play his full strength squad. I'm assuming we're going to play a bit of a rotated team. Might even, side might even see Ronaldo play live. Do you know what I'm hoping time. for that, man? I need to see Ronaldo in live and flesh. And hopefully he does a Sue celebration instead of last <laughs> time I see him score, man does that. <laughs> Everyone's waiting for the Sue and he's not even doing it. But Do you yeah. reckon he stopped doing that because of the whole momentum thing? And Yeah, I think because like, he's obviously not at his happiest time in life. So yeah. he probably doesn't want that kind of adulation for that Sue thing. He's kind of just like, doing his own thing in it. Like. Trying to stay humble a bit if you can. Isn't it? Do you want to see uh, Van der Beek start? Bruv, if, if not now, this has got to be his last chance, really. Yeah. This is the last time he plays. If he plays well, he gets another chance in January. If he doesn't play well, he gets sold in January. Yeah, because I'm thinking, like, League Cup, this should this be his last chance, bro. He shouldn't have started the last game, I don't no, think. He shouldn't have. That was a risk. But what were we saying? Um, Van der Beek with uh, Casemiro and. Um, is Bruno back? I reckon, back? I reckon Bruno... McTominay plays. McTominay? I think he would rest no. Casemiro in it. No. Bruno might be back. He's, he's, he's back from suspension. Whether he plays or not is a different question. I don't know. Or by Ericsson? Surely he rests Ericsson. It's yeah. Carabao Cup, isn't it? Everyone else has been... Like, all the big teams, they rest their players for this game. Surely we're not playing a full strength as a team. All right, so going from the bottom to top here, what's your starting... Predict the starting lineup? De Gea in there because he loves De Gea. Yeah. Does Dalot play? I don't know if wan will get a run out of that. I, I, th I what, think it's starting a strong squad because of the last... The last game, had, yeah. Possibly, you know. I don't know, I guess Dalot plays again because he loves Dalot. Lindelof, Maguire, I think he'll play. He'll rest Martinez. Malassi will play. Midfield, I think it will be McTominay, Van der Beek. I reckon Bruno plays because he was suspended last game. Yeah. Right, I reckon... Elanga left, I think. Sancho, if he's back, is he back fit? Um, I don't know. Either. And up front, I reckon you play Ronaldo because you've got no one else. So, or Martial? Oh Mark, yeah, no, see, see, I don't think he's fit enough to start. Yeah. This is the reason why yeah. I don't think I'm going to break my two um, bucket list. I've seen Ronaldo live in the flesh yeah. because of Martial. Yeah. I think he he might start. Yeah. And what are you put a camera on here? No, no, no. I just want to see your face. <laughs> um, but also. Um, us winning as well. Yeah. What do you think we won't win? I reckon we'll win. Well, we we'll just win. lost against Villa away, yeah? So we predict Ten Hag doesn't lose two games in a row. Come on. See, now you said that. Oh, hey, crowd, listen, listen. Saib's about to see his no, first in Old Trafford. Every the game. curse is over for three games. Saib's curse is about to be over tonight. Bro. Okay, so what are you predicting? I'm going for United 2-0. 2-0. Well, who the score? Bruno Fernandes, one goal. Garnacho, one goal. Garnacho, yeah. Yeah, Garnacho's gonna start on the left, I reckon. All right, let's have a big boy. He started his last two games. I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with, I have a Villa winning, um, something stupid like 1 0. Or United do win with a big, like, clap back and we win 3 1. That's what All I'm right. going with. Yeah, I hear that. All right, just before we get into the game, I don't know. Yeah. Got a little game of a quick 10 round of it, yeah? So straight away, whoever comes first into your mind, I'm gonna to have to give an answer to you, yeah? Don't think too much into it, just give it an answer. Ready? Say nothing. All right, from the top. An assist or a goal? Goal. Power League or 11 aside? 11 aside. Champions League or World Cup? Champions League. Last minute winner or 3 0 whitewash? Last minute winner. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
Rejoice Eagle. That's a bit mad. Um, Jesus or Richardson? Jesus. Portsmouth or Manchester for a weekend break? And just, just for content, Portsmouth is where I know my university as well. Portsmouth, definitely. Yeah? Yeah, okay. A morning or evening workout? Evening. Canton or Beckham in terms of influence? Well, Canton was before my time, but from what everyone says, it has to be Canton. No, but this is for you. The Bex. Robin Van Persie volley or Rooney's overhead kick against C? Rooney overhead kick. Uh, the last one. Who's been a bigger disappointment? Van der Beek or Sancho? Has to be Sancho. Based off? Based off all the hype you saw from and all the clips that we saw from before he came from Germany. Yeah. And Van der Beek, yeah, you saw it in Champions League, but he never looked like anything special. Sancho was meant to be some wonder kid. Okay. And he came for 72 million. Fair enough. And there's a bonus one here, yeah. a bit of a personal one. Ryan or Haroon? What, at football? <laughs> you thinking? At football? Yeah. <laughs> That's tough, man. Um, They're different positions, though. He's saying, boys, if you're watching this, yeah, just know he's struggling to pick between you. Which is a good thing, I well, guess. If he's, if he's attacking, I'll pick Haroon. If he's yeah. defensive, I'll pick Ryan. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, they don't play the same positions, do they? Yeah. Five aside, comes to it. But Haroon, like five aside, Haroon plays left wing. Oh, actually, forget forget Pad. Who has more ball knowledge when it comes to the podcast? Haroon right. or Ryan? Ryan. And as we've seen from the last episode, if you haven't checked that already, Ryan will argue to the <laughs> ends of hell to make his point. Haroon's, all Haroon's football knowledge comes from Twitter. <laughs> Villa United, we're here at Old Trafford again. I've got some special guests with me today, boys. Boys, what are we saying? What do you think about the starting lineup? Shit, man, no Ronaldo, man. Yeah, no Ronaldo. Yeah, but regardless, 3 1 United, man. 3 1 United? 3 1, I'll give it 2 1 United. What do you think about the midfield? Donny McFred? No, shit. I don't know, man. It's, it's a bit, bit skeptical, but hopefully, hopefully something, about McFred, man. Yeah? yeah, McFred, hopefully they do something today. What do you think about Martial? Expecting big things. I'm expecting Marshall. big things. He's had a good preseason. Show him the top, boy. Show him the top. Let's go. Oh, that is, <laughs> cl that is <laughs> class. That is <laughs> class. But he's not here today. So. All right, these boys are in Stratford End. We're going to go in and see the game. See you guys in a bit. Saib, any Bro, thoughts on the game? We can be filled in it, so I don't know. 2-0, I think. 2-0, that's about 2 it. 2-0, yeah? <laughs> Saib's pissed. Hopefully the, the old Trafford curse is over. Oh, Ho you, hopefully he finally sees a win in it. Hopefully. Yes. All right, we're going to go inside now. See you guys in a bit. Sure, <laughs>
half time, it's nil nil. No chances for both sides, really. Say, what do you think about the game? Bro, terrible first half, not being real. Yeah, poor no first half. See, this way. United 3 2. Saib's finally seen his first win at Old Trafford. Come on. Come on. Come on. Seen Rashford go, seen Martial uh, go. Bruno. Seen Bruno go. Come on. First off, 0 0. It was dead. There's beef going on there. Second off. Where's it go? 4 2. Hey, what? McDominate? 4 2 McDominate. <laughs> Come on, United. 4 2 McDominate. <laughs> I was wrong the first time. Saib's finally seen a win at Old Trafford. Hey! He's seen four goals. He's missed one. Doesn't matter. Man in the match. Man in the match. Garnacho, my guy. Garnacho came on, changed the game completely. Outstanding performance. Ericsson, bit of class, changed the game as well. As soon as McFred, yeah. the McFred partnership was broken, Fred, come yes, on. Yes, come on, boys. Come on, United. Yes. Fucking yes. Come on. Bruno, Bruno, Bruno! Garnacho, Garnacho! Garnacho, Garnacho! Vivo Garnacho! Vivo Garnacho! <laughs> Let's go, man. Yes, man, between the liners, the Old Trafford Adnan curse is well and truly over. Saib's curse is now over as well. He's finally seen a win. I've seen three wins and a draw at Old Trafford. 4 2 today. What a game. First half was completely flat. Second half had a lot more excitement. We were playing poorly until. Until they scored, we really didn't create much. I don't know what it was. It took a bit of time to get us into spot, but the only way we got into the game was after they scored. So anyway, once McFred and the McFred partnership was broken up, we suddenly seemed to come into life, managed to get a couple goals. Garnacho, amazing. He's so direct, so aggressive, so positive all the time. Every time he gets on the ball, he's a threat. Rashford, the game's kind of coming easy to him, even though he didn't really do much outside of the goals and assist. Seems like he's just so dangerous, managed to get a goal every time. Martial got a goal as well. I thought Bruno was going to shoot, to be honest, but he didn't. So, big shout out to Bruno. Um, 
yeah this is between the lines podcast i'm gonna get home quickly like the video share the video watch out for the next old trafford video and the england world cup squad video next week see you on the next one peace out between, between the lines, 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 lines.